<laughs> Cog and What If, that's the new single from the second album which will be released pretty soon. And drummer extraordinaire from the band Lucius, hello. From the band Lucius. Yeah, that's I've it. I've got my own band. Yeah, Lucius. that's it. Lucius the band. How are you going, mate? You've just come back from the United States of America. You guys have been hanging out <laughs> oh, there since January. Yep, that's right. How uh, do you get a visa to stay there so long? Do you have to keep coming back and forth? Um, or what sort of visa are you on? Yeah, well, it's a work visa. A work visa? Mm, oh, yeah. did they fingerprint you at the airport? They did. They're watching you. They are. <laughs> They're watching everyone. From Los Angeles, you went to, well, from, from the airport to Weed. Tell me about Weed. We actually, arri we actually arrived in San Francisco. Oh, okay. And then it's four hours north um, of a drive, and then it's inland. Yeah. Far out, because I had a look on your website and it doesn't look like there's a lot there, but a beautiful mountain. Yeah, Mount Shasta, really beautiful, majestic, yeah. Awesome. And a pretty wicked uh, recording studio. Yeah, 1930s Art Deco theatre converted fully into a studio. And so this is the second time that Cog's gone to Weed um, USA to record this album. What's so attractive to you about recording overseas? Uh, well, I think just the first time we went, it was such a good experience and, you know, I was like, well, let's go back and do it again, you know. It's got all the right tools and equipment and, you know, there's not much going on there so you can really focus, so it was good. Yeah, so I think if you had lots of things around you, phone calls and bids and bobs, you're like, hang on. Yeah, we don't want that. But, of course, a big uh, bit of that would be Sylvia Massey, who's producing the album once again. Yep, yep, she came on board. Does she crack the whip? Uh, we cracked the whip. Um... And, yeah, Sylvia Massey. Mm. Is she a nice person? She's lovely. She's yeah. cool. Yeah. Has she told you good stories? A few. Mm. Yeah, a few. She's got a good UFO story. Oh, really? Yeah, What's that? really good. When she was young. Where was she? Out in the backyard and a massive UFO came over the top and, you know, she was there with her friends and she never forgot it. And then she starts producing Tool albums. And you guys. <laughs> hey, maybe it was Tool in that ship. What happens when you, you go into a producer, into the studio, and you, you present her the, the songs that you've, um, you've worked on? What happens next? Um, you just basically, you know... Well, we actually ended up writing more songs, and the songs that we had that were demos, they were pretty cool. Uh, a few, you know, we had to touch up a few things, but it was, it was about recording and writing, like, you know, 14 more tracks. So we had a body of work, like 25 songs to choose from for the Oof. album. And are you doing anything differently than you did on the new normal for this album? We all got into the keyboards. Did you? Mm. Even you? Even me. Drummers playing keyboards. <laughs> and the album's going to be called Shared Space. I have to think about that. I had something that, else that in was, my mind. That was really close. The last <laughs> one you had, Secret Space. Yeah. It's Sharing Space. Sharing Space. <laughs> sharing Space from COG. It'll be out early next year and uh, you'll be touring around the country in November. You're going to right, all kinds yeah. of places. Yeah, What If Tour and uh, we've got Dead Letter Circus on the on the tour as Tops. well. So that's good, yeah. Oh, well, Lucius, thanks for coming on JTV Saturday. I'm sure we'll catch up with you again soon. Um, a band that were recently in the country from Glasgow. They are the 1990s. They like to eat nachos after they play, so I thought I'd take them out for some nachos. However, it did finish at four o'clock in the morning. Here they are. <laughs>